I spend most of my time collaborating with people, trying to get the right people in the room, trying to get people who can help. Maybe even they don't have an interest, but they're helpful people. In my view, that's what leadership in the 21st century is going to be all about. I'm Pam Goldsmith-Jones, and I'm the mayor of West Vancouver. Did you bring some notes on health care? Well, the health care thing. People really. really should not feel at all removed from government, any level of government. It's their government. And if it doesn't reflect them, if it makes them feel uncomfortable, there's something wrong with the government, not the citizen. Most people just wish to be treated with respect, given five minutes. Children stop me on the street and talk about the time their class came to council chambers. I spend a lot of time with young people and I take them from chambers in the back door right into my office. And I say to all of them, this is your office, I'm just visiting. I happen to have a master's degree in local government and I thought I would be an academic. And the, for me, the action and the pace, you never know what's gonna happen. So you have your set of objectives that you said you would do and then you've got stuff coming out of left field you didn't even know was going to happen. And then you've got the interests of your constituents and fellow members of council popping up. And that is just so interesting. And trying to weave those together into something that makes sense and is achievable is, uh, is a pretty exciting work environment. And I, unlike an academic environment in, in my view. So I made, a, I made a fundamental decision and I've never regretted it. I was uh, elected as a councillor while the children were younger and didn't run for mayor, I think, until our youngest was 15. Good morning. Anything people didn't understand from last night? I do have a lot of energy, <laughs> so uh, this is, I'm well suited to that, I think, but um, you can't even imagine uh, the people that you will work with, the people that will help you to stretch and grow and I think one of the concerns I have about um, anybody entering public life, maybe particularly young women, is that they think that they need to know the answers. Um, that's not the case. A willingness to find them out, a willingness to ask questions and also have faith in those that you're working with is what leadership is going to be about in the 21st century. Uh, the days of coming to a problem with a solution already in your head and slogging it out with the other guy are over. In defense of local government, my favorite level of government, I think you see the highest proportion of women. And it's well suited to career, family and, and other things. I think that what women would wish to see in order to encourage them to continue in provincial and federal politics is a completely different style of leadership. Speaker, it's just classic for that member to make completely baseless allegations. I don't believe in an adversarial system. I don't, I haven't seen such a thing as a loyal opposition in an awfully long time. It's the, it's the teardown opposition. Um, if we could think of our legislative assemblies as places that pool ideas, sort them out, if we had more diverse people working on issues, it would hold, I think, an awful lot of appeal. In public life, you should be able to go down a path, not necessarily knowing the outcome, but to see what it could be. And we get cut off at the knees because of party politics before you even can look and see what's there. So, um, you know, I think that women t tend to like the discussion, the conversation, and the open-endedness of all of that. Um, or at least I know that I do. The young women, they need to hear that the leadership model is changing in the world. And it's a fortuitous time if you like to think in a systems way, if you like complex problems, if you like diversity and inclusion, that is where leadership is going to come from and I think that, that particularly appeals to collaborative people and to the way um, young women would wish to get involved.
Believe me, I know the feeling of having somebody holding you by the ankles and not wishing to see you succeed or attacking you. And um, every time that happens, I think two things. One, I imagine the 44,000 people I represent. And I say to myself, if they were all standing here, what would they do or what would they wish for me to do? And the answer always is to take the high ground. And it's amazing to me how you can keep taking a higher and higher ground, be the better sport, extend yourself to the person that yesterday was your opposition, because it changes. That's the great thing about politics. We are the government. So for me, the reward is seeing that in action every day and, and really standing behind everybody and saying, you can do it and I will be your biggest advocate. And I wouldn't ask you to do anything I don't do myself. I wouldn't ask you to work harder than I work myself. You know, what, a, what an incredible privilege.